Hello and welcome to uh, my going live here. Okay, so a lot of things I want to talk about today. I hope I can keep them in order and this is not as dorky as my last live. Helpful criticism or like you should do this or you should do that on the last one I did. So thank you everybody for that. Really appreciate it. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm Tony Green. I am a channel, a psychic medium. And um, what I do basically is when people talk to me, ask me questions, I information comes through me for them. And I basically help guide, spiritually guide your life. But I also do some healing and clearing work that is, I think, pretty profound. It's very helpful for people to get where they want to be, to get rid of what's no longer working and get to what is working. So I like to start every single stream and a uh, radio show and TV show. I have, uh, I host and produce two TV shows, which are on hold right now because of everything going on in the world. So, um, but the radio show is every Monday at noon on um, iHeart, iTunes, Blog Talk, yada, yada. You can call in, ask questions, get questions answered. There's a number of healings and clearings in there also for everybody. Um, but I like to start every everything I do, I start with a clearing. And <clears throat> the reason I do this is I believe if we can get rid of the old energy, habits, patterns, things going on in our lives, we can get to where we want to be. We can get to be who we know we should be and who we want to be. So having said that, let's go ahead. I, and this is all about abundance, wealth, money, um, and clearing what's blocking us from that. So there, there are, um, <clears throat> there are so so many, many, many things that can block us from finances, uh, wealth, receiving, like so many people just aren't comfortable receiving. There are so many people that are just not comfortable having, like you can get a large amount of money and it's gone, boom, 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 right? So we want to be in that space where we are not... Um, wasting away <clears throat> our finances and we are not um, blocking them from coming in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to like make a statement and it, it, it tests positive. Then I start the clearing for that. So um, we are blocking money from coming in. Yes, I get a yes. So I'm going to start. All right. And actually angels, Holy Spirit come in and clear that. So whether you're watching or re-watching this, the power and the significance of this is the same. It's all energy. And if you have the intention and if question for me, just uh, pop it in the comments section and hopefully, hopefully I'll get it. I don't know. I haven't answered a question on here yet, but we're about to find out if I can do that. <laughs> um, until that point, I'm just going to talk and believe me, I can talk. So uh, if you want me to stop talking, just pop in a question for me. So the next thing I want to say as far as clearings go, because this is all about wealth, you're comfortable with wealth and I'm getting a no. So we're going to start clearing that. And that hits me like right here and here. And that's that's the heart. That's fear. That's this is all. Um, all encompassing like this isn't even in the head, folks. This is in a fear zone. And a lot of people do have. Um, a lot of fear with money, especially large amounts. We have this preconceived notion that, and, and maybe we were taught this in childhood, maybe it's a belief system, um, maybe it came in with us into this life, but we're taught, some of us were taught that um, large amounts of money are greedy, bad, um, 
And uh, we, we, as much as our parents want us to do better than them, it, we're always afraid or have some kind of preconceived notion about passing that level of our parents. Or how about this one? We feel like if we do well, we have to take care of everybody else. Now, I'm going to I'm going to say this, and, and for some of you, this is going to resonate, and for some of you, it is not going to resonate. It's okay either way. If this applies to you, it will be healed. If it doesn't, and if you don't want it to be healed, that's that's quite all right, too. Um, if you have that ob obligation to heal and help others, that's great, as long as it's not taking you under. Okay, if it's taking you under, if it's leaving you with nothing, then it's not great. It's not good. It's not what should be happening, right? You should be always, uh, you can't give out your last resources. Even, even in a business, like you have to make sure you're here and you're always here. And then if there's, it's like whatever's extra, it, it goes out. But it can't take you under. You can't spend your last dime to give somebody a dollar, okay? It just, that's a really cute statement. It just cannot happen. So um, we're giving more than we're receiving and I get a yes on that. So we start clearing that. Now, the other thing I wanna work on, and this is the biggest, biggest one. The biggest one is that we need to be in that place where we accept wealth. Now, wealth, and I use this word intentionally, and I use it all the time because so many people are really, really uncomfortable with the term wealth. Why? It's a great term. I'm wealthy. That to me is an absolutely amazing term, but nobody wants to own that because they're afraid of the judgment in it. They're afraid of the, um, not only the judgment, but like what, what other people will think, but then what obligation that puts them in. Like if people know I have, will they take? If, if people know that I have, what will they think of me? If people know I have, um, then I'm, I'm going to, whatever it is, wh whatever it is. So uh, let's start clearing that all of all of that out because that is um, unhealthy. I want you to start thinking of money like air. And the bottom line with money is that we need it just like we need air. We live in a world where we need money. But we also live in a world where money has been demonized. It's the bad thing. It's bad except for to those who have it. And those who have it are the ones trying to make the rest of us feel like it's bad to have it. Like there's inequality. And if you have too much and somebody else doesn't have enough, then you're, you have to give. Well, let somebody else get up and do the work that you did to get what you have instead of taking from you to give to somebody who's all up on the couch watching TV doing what they're doing, right? Why? That makes no, no sense. But the, the millionaires and the billionaires in this world that are preaching equality and give, give, give are not giving. They are seriously, they are holding, holding, holding and building, building, building. Okay. So as nice as all their statements are on their platforms, hello, let's be realistic. So let's get in that space now where we can really embrace really have that uh, understanding that I worked for this. If, if I truly want to help somebody, I can, but I'm very comfortable with wealth. I'm not worried about judgment of wealth. Now, the other, the next topic I want to go to with wealth is um, 
the topic of uh, responsibility. Mm -hmm. Responsibility. People think if they have a lot of money, that this brings in a lot of responsibility. It, it brings in uh, this. Um, and I'll give you I'll give you an example because it's so much easier to do the example than it is to actually explain it because the words just aren't coming to me right now. So if you have, let's just say a thousand dollars, you've probably already spent it on new this, new that, catching up. If you have ten thousand dollars, okay, that that might feel a little bit more heavy to you. And you might be thinking, oh, I I need to pay all that. And that $10,000 is going to go because, because we all have a comfort zone with money and whatever our comfort zone is, is where inevitably we will end up back at that point. And I'll tell you how to figure out your personal comfort zone. Your personal comfort zone is the amount left, the amount left in your checking savings uh, after a pay period, the amount left. That's your comfort zone, okay? Most people, you might go up a little bit, down a little bit, but there's there's an average. That's your comfort zone. So if you get large sums of money, um, you typically already have that spent or have things you need, want, so on and so forth. Somebody else needs, wants, and then you're um, needing to take care of all of that and the money's gone. So we're at $10,000. Now we're going to go to uh, $20,000. Now let's jump it. 50. You just got $50,000 and you're like, oh, okay, I need a new car. I need this. I need that. And then that's gone, right? Or you just slowly dollar yourself to death. I love that statement, by the way. Dollar yourself to death. Mm -hmm. That is something people do in the store. 75% of what your cart is in your cart at checkout is not necessary, right? So we can all look back to any shopping trip and, and realize that. And that's like picking away your money, picking away. We don't buy those big ticket items. We do the little items, but we do a lot of them. And we seriously, we could have bought a big ticket item that was, a better item instead of all these little items that are not necessary, right? Okay, so we have that. And then, but it, now let's go up to $100,000. And then all of a sudden, you're paying off everything, you're taking care of people, and we're back down to our comfort zone, right? So now, now with $100,000, if somebody just walked up, or you just won $100,000, you would be like, Oh, it's so different than winning $10, but it shouldn't be. It should not be. It should not be. You should be comfortable no matter what amount of money falls in your lap, okay? There should not be a difference between $10 and a million dollars as far as your comfort level with it. And I know because of what we have been taught, because of how people talk about money, it, there is for us, but there should not be. It should never get to that point. Never. Now, if we go, let's say to a, a million dollars, are you comfortable with that? Does that feel heavy? Does that feel like too much? Um, and for a lot of people, it will, it will feel like I, I don't want that much money. There, there are literally people I've heard. I know one woman in particular that will call people with more money than what she has a greedy pig. What? That is crazy balls to me. Like, why would you call somebody who has worked and built and saved and was smart with money and is employing hundreds, if not thousands of people, a greedy pig because they're being rewarded for the work they do. You know what kind of money she has? Yep. She's always here. 
Why? Because in her mind, people with money are greedy pigs. And if she has money, she's a greedy pig. That Not me. Not me. Don't point at me. Her. <laughs> um, I believe prosperous people can only enlighten other people. Like if you don't see it in somebody else, you can't achieve it for yourself. Now, let me turn this. I'm, I'm going to do a clearing on our comfort zone and being able to re raise our comfort zone with money. Now, all of these clearings are a little bit different and all of these clearings are very powerful. I implore you to watch this as many times as necessary. You may feel things going on in your body oh, like that. I always release through deep, heavy breaths. OK. Um, and uh, you, you might feel pressure, cold, hot, dizzy, uh, uh, just a little mind spinning. Wherever this affects you, it might be in the fear, the heart, um, in the head, wherever it affects you, that might be where you're feeling it. And a lot of people, money affects them like in that root area, that between the hips area, because that's our safety, our security, our base, right? So let's say uh, he, here's the statement I'm going to make. Everybody watching and rewatching this has is is comfortable letting go of their comfort zone. Oh, I'm already getting a no and having an unlimited amount of money for a comfort zone. Yeah, that's hitting hard. No. So we're going to start clearing that. Oh, Oh, huh. and that goes all the way up from the base to the top, just like this whoosh of energy leaving. Ooh, I hope you guys are feeling this. If you are, comment, comment. Okay, now if you're not, if you don't want to comment, it's okay. I'm I'm not like you have to comment. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna go to, I forgot where I was before we did the comfort zone. Um, clearing. Pew, pew. <laughs> but let's go here. Um, next, I want to talk about. Um, what, oh yes, a uh, uh, thank you. What do we do with money? Do we let it go quickly? Are we able to hold on to it for that um, for the future? Now, before I go into this, and I'm going to write that down. Uh, hold on to money. Hold. On. Because before I go into this one, I really want to hit up. Oh, I really want to hit a point solid. I want you to get this like you get it like you get it. Okay. I want you to, to have that light bulb moment that thing that says, Oh, my God. Yeah. So here's, um, here's what I want to say. We all have um, not all of us. I don't I don't have any children, but I have nieces. Right. I have nieces that I adore. Just they are. They're better than my children because I don't have to deal with the, the, the naughtiness of them, <laughs> but they're not naughty. See, I'm their aunt, so I think they're perfect. I never see the naughty side and I love that. Um, and I want them and, and most parents that I know, almost every parent that I know wants their kids to do better than they did, wants their children to have unlimited success, unlimited potentials, unlimited money. They want them to have everything in the world, right? And we see that by the commercialized world we're living in. We see how parents are giving their kids everything they never had and then some, preparing them for college, getting them here and there and, and, and doing everything they need to do for their children, right? So here's the aha, hopefully, moment of that. Your children learn what they live. You can say everything you want to them about money and having money. And most parents don't even touch this conversation with their kids. They're not even um, saying like, OK, let's talk about money. Let's talk about what your potential is. Let's talk about unlimited success for you. Parents don't. Instead, they're busy saying, get good grades. You got to get to college. Um, you have to do this in college so you can you, you can accomplish this. They're not saying let's talk about how money is 
everywhere and so on and so forth. They're not, a lot of parents don't have that conversation about whatever you do, you have the ability to have as much as you want, right? Most parents are, are just talking about, you know, get good grades, take the next step. Okay. But if we do want our nieces, nephews, children to have that amazing life with the financial security or the amount of money that is perfect for them, we have to show them. Somebody has to show them that that's a possibility. Somebody has to be in that space of having money and taking care of themselves. And I I watch so many people spend their last or spend a lot of money on their children, even though they know that their savings are going down and they're doing it with the best of intentions, right? The best of intentions, whether it's like private schools or getting them the latest gaming system or <clears throat> the clothes, whatever it is. And they're not doing it for themselves. They're not taking care of themselves. They're, they'll buy a, a thousand dollar gaming system for their kid, their child, but they won't even spend money on a new outfit for themselves. Now, that's a lesson that your child is learning. It's okay to take care of others, but not myself. It's okay to spend large amounts of money, but not save for myself. And th that is like, I hope this is hitting home for some of you because it's more important to teach financial, se financial security and abundance than material stuff. And we all know that on some level, but we also want to give our, our children and our nieces and our nephews everything that we, we, we didn't grow up with. Well, guess what? There's just a lot more in this world right now that wasn't even available when we were children and, and how much of it is necessary. Again, those unnecessary items. But beyond that, if you want your children to have unlimited resources, you have to be there first. So uh, let's go back to holding on to money. See, I had to refer to my little note here and I um, and uh, we are able to hold on to money. We are able to build our resources. And I'm getting a no. And for some of us, this isn't true for everyone. So please, if it's not true for you, it's okay. Um, it, it might be true for some others. So for whoever this is true for, we're going to start clearing this now. Oh, and that really hits me right here. For you, it might be hitting you in another spot. But for me, it hit, it hits right here. I'm feeling this clearing come from this, um, this spot right here. Yeah, right there. You can't see it because it's a little bit below my camera. But that's okay. Oh, that's a biggie. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's a real biggie for me. Obviously, this isn't, and I, obviously this isn't something I've even cleared on myself yet because I really feel that it's going down into my stomach like, whoa. Whew. Let's give this a quick second. <laughs> it cracks. Oh, I crack me up. Okay. So with all of these clearings today, I want you to know that you might have it, it what this does we're going to clear this heal it and and for some of you it, it will be immediate for some of you some people can clear like that some people can heal like that right for others it might take a minute it, and if it's taking a minute come back watch this again i might have to watch this again Whew. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry for all the heavy breathing. <laughs> kind of, oh. So this holding on to money is obviously a big one. Building resources is obviously a big one. I, my eyes are actually watering up right now. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, okay, get it together. Okay, so... <laughs> 
So on that, I'm going to uh, let you know to, to again, if it, it can take up to a month and for some people even longer, if this is really deep rooted, it could take a little longer. Now, really quick, I want to, um, I want to, sorry for the stand up there, but I had to grab these and not knock everything over. So I have um, written and authored, I've, I've authored, I think that's the right term, seven books. And I just want to show you two of them now. They would make great gifts for people that you love, a great gift for yourself. This one is called um, Channeled Messages from Above, Whispers from Heaven. And these are like messages from angels. And there, there's a lot of poetry in here, a lot of poems. And I channeled all of them. And there were a couple um, that I, I like literally um, could not get through. When I was editing them, I had the most difficult time getting through them. Like they hit home for me too. So that's the first book. Gonna put that down there. And this one, oh, I love this book. It looks like a big book. It's not. Um, don't let that scare you. It's not very um, wordy. It's like this. OK, so there's a it's called What If a Transformational a Transformational Guide. Sorry, I should know the titles of my own books. And um, this is just it, there's a question. It states a what if question. And then I always tell people, start with a notebook and write your first responses in the notebook, because later on, after you've gone through a couple of these, it's literally going to change your mindset. Seriously. And, and this again, this whole book was channeled. All of all of my books have been channeled. So this it may be on the third or fourth go round of a question. You might want to respond in the book, but there is space to respond in the book. This is a great book. Uh, to, for couples and families or in your work environment to do together. It's designed to open the mind and the perspectives that you have about life, people, places, just everything. So those are the two books I'm going to tell you about today. Down below are links to um, my there's a link if you want to uh, order a book um, for my author page on Amazon. I want to thank you for joining me until next Tuesday. Uh, make it make it amazing. Just make miracles in your own life. Mm -hmm.